वेलकम टू कॉन्सेप्ट गुरु लर्निंग इज फन Let us discuss division. We have two friends here, Sam and Sue, and we have six slices of pizza. Now both Sam and Sue are very happy. Now can you help me to divide the slices of pizza between Sam and Sue? Well, let's first give one slice of pizza to Sue. Now let's give one to Sam. Now we have four left. Let's give one to Sue and the next one to Sam. Now we have two left. Let's give one more to Sue and the last one to Sam. So we had six slices of pizza and now each of the two children got Three slices. So we can say six slices of pizza divided amongst two people, and each one of them got three. Yay! Let's write the equation as six. Give a division sign and two, and the result is equal to three. We can also write it in this manner: six. Over two, and that equals to three. Usually, division is also written in this particular format. In all these three cases, six is the dividend. This is the number that is being divided. In our example, the slices of pizza. Two is the divisor, or the number with which we are dividing we had two people sue and sam so the divisor is 2 each of them got three slices of pizza that is the quotient or the result now let's look at the relationship between multiplication and division here we have one car Can you tell me how many tires a car has? Yes, a car has 4 tires. Now, how many tires would 3 cars have? 3 cars will have 3 multiplied by 4 tires in each car that is a total of 12 tires. Now, if somebody gives me 12 tires, and asks me to divide it into 3 cars can i do it i would need your help let us divide 12 tires into 3 cars now how many tires would be there in each car you got that right 12 divided by 3 equal to 4 so we learn that division is the inverse of multiplication Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Press the bell icon for our latest videos.